episode of Brit's Breakdown. I know before you say anything, you're going to be like, why is she looking so ratchet? She ratchet! <laughs> um, okay, so here's the thing. I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys. And um, yeah, I didn't... I don't want to take the time to try to look cute and all that. Not that I really always look that cute, but you know, before I make a video, I usually try to slap on a little bit of makeup and at least do my hair. I literally rolled out of bed looking like this. So this is what you guys get. And yeah, so, um, I've slapped on videos lately, as you can tell, and I just want you all to know that I will be making more videos in the coming year. Um, but before... Austin and I took a break from videos just for this holiday season, um, from our vlog channel too, just to take a little bit of a break, have a little bit of a breather. So I will be starting up with more videos um, starting the new year, but I wanted to make one more video for you guys before the new year. I felt like I just need one more video before the end of this year. I cannot believe 2012 is almost over. It's crazy how fast this year has gone. And um, I just wanted to make a little encouragement for you guys. So I will let you know in advance, this is Brittany blabbering um so if you're not really into that feel free to not watch but i just couldn't end the year without making one more video for you guys and i wanted to make something to encourage you so with the start of a new year um i know a lot of times uh, we make resolutions we make new goals you know it's a great time to kind of clean out the old start new and um i just want to encourage you guys for the new year um Okay, so I was running the other day, and um, when I run, I, I have to listen to music because it's the only thing that motivates me. So I was running, and I was listening to one of my favorite artists, uh, India Ari, and I was listening to the song called I Am Not My Hair, and I don't know if, you, if you've heard it or not, but there's a line in it um, when she's singing that she sings that goes, um, I am not my hair, I am not the skin, I am not your expectations. Okay, she sounds way better than I do singing it. I'm sorry. I had I had to sing it for you, but that was atrocious. So anyway, she sounds way better when she sings it. But basically she says, I am not my hair, I'm not the skin, I'm not your expectations. And when I was running, I was thinking about that line and I was like, She's talking about more for her own personal journey, but I was applying it to more of us um, girls or women um, in in general. Like, and I just want to encourage you guys. As I was running, I was thinking, yeah, we are more than our hair. We're more than our makeup. We're more than our outer appearance. And I just want to encourage you all, um, starting out with a new year, embrace who you are. You know, like I feel like as a society, and I've said this before, I've harped on this before, but I just, I want to just make this video and just encourage you because I feel like this is something I struggle with too. But as a society, we're always told, and I'm totally generalizing, but as a society, it's like, you know, it's all about what you look like, your hair, your makeup, you know, we have to look perfect, we have to be skinny, we have to be this size, we have to wear this thing. And it's just everywhere. And it's almost like you feel like if you don't, measure up to the standards that you're seeing that you're not you're not pretty or you're not beautiful or you're not a whole person and I just want to encourage you guys when you're making goals for the new year make a goal to embrace you the way you are who God made you to be not someone else not comparing yourself and um I know that there's guys that watch my videos too or maybe there's not I don't know but I really and I'm speaking to guys too but really I'm speaking to women because I feel like this is something that we struggle with more not saying that guys don't but I feel like as and I'm totally generalizing I know maybe this isn't something that you struggle with but I feel like as a general rule women we put pressure on ourselves to look a certain way to be a certain way and I just want you guys to throw all that out the window it doesn't matter what really matters is and I know this sounds so cliche but it truly is what's inside your heart and what what makes you a person your personality like it's not about your skin tone your skin type your makeup, your hair, all that is fun. I'm not saying that that's bad, but I'm just saying let's take a break from that for a minute and think deeper, you know? And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video and not like I'm some beauty queen. I usually look gorgeous. I mean, if you follow my vlog channel, I usually, yeah, I usually look like this anyway. But I just, I thought of making this video and I, the first thought was, oh, when I make a video, you know, I, I need to take a shower. I need to, you know, put on a little makeup, make myself look, you know, put something kind of cute on. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to literally roll out of bed. And this is how I look in the morning. I don't, this is how I look and it doesn't matter because I want you guys to know, I know I'm so babbling. I want you guys to understand that it's not about outer appearance. 
Makeup is fun, it's great, it's fine, clothes, all that stuff is great. But I want you guys to know that I love you and I don't I don't know all of you personally, but I feel like I do. I feel like I like your your friends that I haven't met. And I just want to encourage you that don't be discouraged by measuring yourself with standards that um, the world is setting because it doesn't matter. So I just want to read you a verse that's really encouraging to me. Um, during times when I just kind of, you know, you, all, you get down on yourself and you kind of feel like, I'm not, you know, maybe doing what that person's doing. Or they, they're gorgeous and beautiful and everyone loves them and I'm not, you know, and you start comparing yourself. So this is a verse that really encourages me. This is from Psalms 139 verse 14. And it says, I will give thanks to you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works and my soul knows it very well. Those words are just so encouraging to me. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. You were made the way you were made for a reason. It wasn't an accident, you know? And I, and that's why I want us to rejoice and be encouraged in that. And I don't want to just keep harping on the same thing, but I just, it hurts my heart to think of how many girls are torn down each day by the fact that they, you know, maybe you feel like you're not as pretty as someone else, or, or just the words that we say to each other. I feel like as females, sometimes we can be critical and mean and judgmental, and I am not speaking from someone who has not done that. You know, there's been times where I've probably, you know, seen someone and, and, you know, picked out their flaws or, oh, well, look at that or, you know, and it's just, if we could just encourage each other and, and, and embrace how God made us to be, it would be awesome, you know? And so I just want to encourage you with those words. You're fearfully, wonderfully, wonderfully made. I can't, I can't talk. Fearfully and wonderfully made. And, you know, if God wanted you to look like Jessica so-and-so, he would have made you and Jessica so-and-so identical twins or something. Okay. <laughs> Y'all get what I'm saying. Embrace you, love who you are, and know that you have a specific path and you were put on this earth for a reason, an awesome reason. And even if you don't feel like you know exactly what that reason is all the time or you're still finding yourself, know that God loves you and that um, you don't have to compare and measure yourself by the things of this world or the standards of this world. And I'm trying to not get <sighs> emotional about it. And for those of you who know me, you know that I get kind of emotional about random things like this. But I guess I just, I just want you guys to know that you are loved more than you'll ever know. And I don't want any of you to ever feel discouraged or to feel like you're less of a, a person because you're comparing yourself to other people. So. That's all I have to say. I love you all. I can't wait to make more videos in the coming year. And I just want you all to be encouraged that you're awesome, you're wonderful, you're talented, you're creative, you're amazing. And um, just be encouraged in that. And when you make your New Year's resolutions, whether you make resolutions, whether you make goals, or whether you don't do any of that, you are awesome, okay? And you know what? It doesn't matter. You know, if you decide you wake up one morning, you're like, I don't want to wear makeup, don't wear makeup. If you decide you want to wear your hair in a bun every single day because you're too lazy to do your hair, don't do it, you know? Or maybe that's just me. I think that, I think that actually might just be me because, yeah, I'm too lazy to do my hair. But whatever. If you decide you don't want to shower for the whole year of 2013, then don't do it. Actually, that might be detrimental to your health and the health of other people. So you might not want to do that. But I'm just saying, do you. Don't compare. Don't don't base anything you're doing off of someone else, you know? Um, so, yeah. I hope that made sense. I didn't mean to be super rambly. Hold on. I thought I heard Audrey. Okay. Anyway, I'm not trying to be super rambly. I just, I just want to encourage you guys. And... Um, yeah, let's, for 2013, let's try to focus on encouraging our, each other, um, building ourselves up, and focusing on what really matters, which isn't always outer appearance. Not saying that that's bad, but let's focus on, you know, loving each other, being an encouragement to each other, thinking about what we say, um, and, and just building each other up. Because I'm telling you, if you focus on those things, you will... It'll rub up on you and you'll feel more positive um, and better about yourself. Sometimes when you take the focus off of yourself and focus it on someone else, it actually makes a world of difference. So anyway, I hope this made sense. Basically, I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful new year and you're awesome and amazing and happy new year. I will see you hopefully in 2013 and I hope you guys have had just an awesome holiday season. Bye!